What's up, guys? My name's Jamal Socorro. My name's Jerron Gaddis. And we are the Wannabe Boo Podcast, bringing you the latest and greatest game and anime news, reviews, and waifus for life. This is episode 38. That's right. Oh, so I was right when I was telling my mom what episode we were on. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Does she ha- Has she ever listened to any of our podcasts yet, or are you still kind of... Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you're still you're still you, she'll ask you what number it is and then that's about as far as you'll go uh, i mean i i think she's given up by now because she's <laughs> realized right. that i keep kind of dodging around the question right i mean most of our content is relatively family friendly it, I, it <laughs> is now <laughs> well what do you mean by that but our first couple episodes fucking oh right we had I a mean, full con uh, talking to fucking hentai fetishes and shit. I mean, we were getting experimental. That was our that was our early, younger versions of ourselves learning, right. molding ourselves into the professional podcasters that we are today. Mm, yes, now that we are professional wannabe boots, we can do exactly what we need to do. Exactly, because we, you know, as of this recording, we've hit exactly over, we've hit over seven hundred total downloads. So, I mean. Congrats to us and thank you guys. Jesus Christ, I didn't, I completely forget about you know, the count and all that. I was just checking it out and man, we 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 gotta watch what we say sometimes. Maybe I don't know. I'm 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 so all, all all about you know being genuine, being being real. I'm fine with it, <laughs> but like, we don't have to talk about commonplation <laughs> anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, un- until until we until we do a designated hentai podcast, then we will. Sure. Which we, which we fuck c- it. Because you know, you and I still haven't done a podcast, like a hentai podcast. The last hentai podcast was was between Matthias and I, and that was a guest. <laughs> That's true. We like, do. We, need- we fuck it. We'll do a next episode. Look at look out for that hentai hentai hashtag hentai for all next episode. Oh shit! Hashtag hentai for all episode thirty nine next week. Jesus <sighs> Christ. Mm. You know or what, maybe we should save it for episode forty. I don't know. Well, is there is there significance? I mean, maybe thirty nine is perfect because was it thirty nine is uh this the this these this, this the significant number of thirty nine is also Miku as in Hatsune Miku. Is it? Yes. I that's, didn't know that. That's her. That's her. Like that's her. Um, what is it? Signature number thirty nine because that's the actual that's the literal translation of the numbers three nine in Japanese. So it's a Miku. Oh, fair enough. Makes sense. Makes so, sense. Makes sense. Uh, watch out for some Miku hentai that I will be reporting in next week. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I probably won't, but I'll probably, you know, maybe read a couple of doujinjis here and there. Speaking of to... Miku. <laughs> oh, go on. All right. Speaking of Miku, there was that uh, one anime you were telling me about that had Miku in it. All right. What was it? It was like that. It was a uh, super train mecha, mecha <laughs> series. <Right>. I, <laughs> I, lo- I love Japan so fucking much. Like... <laughs> You can go to any, you can go to fucking India, you got all their B-movies, you got go to Somalia, you got all their shit. Not Somalia. Somalia, um, okay. Uh, fucking Uganda, you got <laughs> all their shit. But like, all their, you know, media and shit. And then you go to fucking Japan, you get the weirdest fucking transforming robot mecha trains. Like, what? <laughs> I mean, with the transforming automo- uh transforming transforming public transportations has always been somewhat of a theme from what I can see. No. Yeah, what about um what is it? Um what's that what's that fucker called? Uh Mecha Gagautsu or something? What? I it um uh, you know what? I'm going to have to reference that later on d- during the show, but I I can guarantee you that that that's been a common trend. Oh, a a popular trend in like uh there's no fucking way i mean look at okay look at the oldest thing of like uh well okay look at power rangers power, or, or or how 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 the kids say it common uh uh was it common riders or common right no common riders common is ri- the, Co- it's common oh. something oh no sentai super sentai Yes, yeah, yeah, there you go. There okay, you go. Look at Super Sentai. So all of Super Sentai is they're like, if they're not animals, they're just like giant vehicles that transform into a giant uh, fucking robot. But it's fine. It's you know we you know Transformers, the fucking Power Rangers, Super Sentai, whatever. We right. got that vehicles transforming into robots. That's right. fine. Okay. But see, here's the thing. There's a, a wide array of different vehicles. You know, trucks, tanks, jets, uh, fucking. Beetles, whatever. You got a whole bunch of shit. Fucking robot animal things. Fucking dinosaurs. 
Like right. we got that. There's a there's an array. But when you spe- it specifically trains is when it's fucking weird. Oh, you mean when it centers around the theme of like trains? It's only bullet trains. <laughs> that well, that's true. This is true. And what Gerard is referring to because there's an actual character in in the series that is that is it is Miku. Like she's casted in uh, in that series as her own character as a uh, pilot of one of these uh, transforming mecha trains. And is voiced as Miku. Exactly. Not the actual voice actor that's behind the program, but the program itself. Exactly. Like they, they probably like actually like wrote up dialogue in the fucking program to be put into the anime. Which and I, I swear to God. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's, it's so weird. <laughs> it's so fucking weird. I mean it's beautiful because they even use the whole was it the auto tune version of her voice too, so <laughs> it's authentic that way. <laughs> Exactly. I feel like she's about to fucking break it down in the in that fucking mech, and, and like she's just talking normal. I'm like, ah, this is strange. I can't do it. You don't. You, you've never seen her characterize as much. I mean, yeah, I've played a little bit of uh, her uh, rhythm games. Right. She fucking put her in bikinis in her fucking room. I mean, when she's not when she's not singing though, that uh, and whatnot. Yeah. Right. And to. So the I get the I have the anime right in front of me. The anime in front of me, it's uh, Shinkansen Henki Robo Shinkalion. The animation. Ooh, cute, kawaii des. I will I will link it down below. And as of this current recording, it is on episode forty. So it's one of those long running, you know, toy uh, toy advertisement shows. Obviously. Oh, okay, I got you. Wait, it's been going on for. So she just entered the show. No, uh, I th- no. She's been in. I think she's been in it since she got introduced in episode nineteen or something, or thirteen. I don't know. She's been early on. She's been in, in the show for like pretty early on. Damn. So she's been what? a pretty relevant character so far, from what I can tell. It's still fucking weird. I don't like is it, it. Is it too much for you? It's too, it's it's not so much that it's too much. It's just everyone's talking. You know. In the the standard Japanese, uh, you know, Japanese voice acting for anime. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, 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 Sasuke, uh, da, 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 you know, <laughs> right? You get it, and then there's her. Na 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 na. I'm like, oh my god, this it's 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 so jarring. Yo, just imagine how those how those voice recording sessions must be like. Like, do they have it playing on like a tape recorder? They have or to. Do... They have to respond to it. <laughs> Cause like how how do you how do you as a voice actor respond to like like a digital like digital lines that were uh, artificially created for a character that you have to respond to in an emotional way possible? Exactly, it's so weird. It's kind of like interacting with a um um was it like one, you know one of those like a uh those very ro- um ah uh, it's like those AI browser things that it's like just very minimal but you just kind of like answer questions and stuff like that what uh, you mean chatbots yeah there you go chatbots yeah but you don't hear them that's true it'd be weird if or in, chat... i guess you don't hear them in most cases yeah it'd be kind of creepy if you did start listening to a chat box well some people are lonely enough that they might try maybe. to develop a speed uh, ai just to talk to it maybe like the movie her what are you there's a there's a movie okay this is this is completely going off of the entire genre of what you mean Steinsgate Asmodeus <laughs> well that's an actual AI based off someone else's memory no the movie her is a, is a story about a guy that creates an AI well just a voice AI kind of like Siri or like Google some or like Google assistant or something and he yeah. falls in love with her because of the voice that's a ro- it's a developing romance story between man and machine that's weird <laughs> I mean, it's not. I can understand. I understand it, but it's still weird. Right. <laughs> uh, but I mean, that's that's uh, that's what Japan has off- has offered to its children right now. And there's actually a model kit based off of those trains, which I'm really tempted of getting, just because Please they don't. they look so good, though. Don't support the train. <laughs> But the trains look so good, and I would love to build one of those. <laughs> like, just transform it into from like commercial bullet train to like mecha ga- mecha battle robo form and battle whatever demons they're they're battling in the show. I mean, I don't, I don't watch the show, but I found out about it because I was browsing one day. So it's fucking dumb. <laughs> Though I guess compared to all the other shit, it's just, it's on the same level. Little kids piloting giant robots to fight demons because because. 
Because of reasons, because of plot. <laughs> because fucking plot. But I mean, it is what it is. But uh, enough about that. We, there's there's. It's episode three for for a lot of shit. This at spelling the end of last week because it's coming out Monday. Right. But yeah, because today is episode four of Slime. And yeah, so yeah, this yeah. is the episode four for everything or most things anyway. Exactly. But before we get into that, we wanted to give a little bit of video game news because there's some shite coming out and a little bit of news about something that just came out. It's nothing mm-hmm. big, just you know. But um, so I'm a huge Dark Souls nerd, as some of you know. Actually, maybe you guys don't know because I haven't, we haven't talked about it before. But, I, don't know, I feel uh, like we have talked about it on the podcast once. Maybe we have. I don't remember, but we're talking about it again. Right. Um, came out for the Switch. I hear not great things about like just its rendering, or is it just not so much of rendering? But people are saying it's not. Uh, it it feels a little weird on the Switch, but I can imagine that because you're playing with the fucking the oh. the pad. You know. In the Joy Cons. Yeah. I guess. I mean, especially if you're just using the Joy Cons, it, it all feels very cramped in a sense. Yeah, people with big hands just can't. I can't do it. I can't. I, I no. Well, I, let me let me change what I just said. I can do it. I'm going to do it because mm-hmm. I have to. <laughs> but you're gonna have to for that Smash release. For that Smash, I got to. But it just I couldn't imagine playing Dark Souls with a small controller. <laughs> I mean, if anything, maybe it might hide in your skills a bit. Like, it'll just, nah. like, re- your reflexes just, like, tighten up literally in a smaller space. Instead of reaching for the buttons, it's all there. So you just the smash thing that's everything. Gonna tighten while I'm playing is my ass. Because <laughs> you're going to get raped by it. Exactly. Um, and then Soul Calibur 5 came out. It's a 5 or uh, 6. Same day. Uh, you're right, 6. Came out okay. same day. This was the 19th. So last Friday. Hey. And I've been a fan of the Soul Calibur series since 3, I think. That's my first one. No. Since 2. I thoroughly enjoyed 2 because... Wait, what the fuck? Which one was it? It was, it was 3 and 4. 3 because Link was in 3. And mm-hmm. I, I was a Nintendo fan butthole. Um, still am. And then four because character customization. Now six took it a bit further with character customization, and I there's just a ton of like Soul Calibur cosplay going on. Wait, is that real? Like, is that actually on software? Yeah, on software. That's oh, in I thought, software. I thought those were mods. Cause like I kept seeing people like you know, um, oh excuse me, post pictures of that, and I'm like, oh. Like, I, I didn't think people were modding it this quickly, but I didn't, I didn't, I never thought it was in software stuff you can actually do. No, nah, it's all in software. People are just fucking bored and creative. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow, okay. That's interesting. Wait, which one had Darth Vader in it? That was five. Oh, no. Okay. No? Four. Because four can't out. Did it have Yoda in it too? I don't remember. I don't Yoda, remember so Vader. Vader was on PlayStation. Yoda was on Xbox. Oh, okay. So it was based on it was exclusive based. Yeah, I see. And then three, yeah, that one had Link in it. I think five had Ezio. Yeah, that was for the Xbox, right? That was, was the it? PlayStation and Xbox, and then okay. six has uh, Geralt from The Witcher. Okay. On both versions? Or uh, on both versions? versions. Yep. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. And then, for fuck, I lost it. This week, Just Dance is coming out. Not much to say about that. You know, it's fucking Just Dance. Well, there's a but, movie coming out, supposedly. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what is it going to fucking be about? Like, let's be honest. <laughs> what could that possibly be about? Um, Maybe, uh, maybe a uh, Just Dance enthusiast. Uh, loses a bet from some Just Dance gangbangers, and he redeems himself and his and his uh, townspeople from these bullies by challenging them through a dance dance from a Just Dance movie you know, or something. It's, it's about me killing myself. That's what the <laughs> movie's about. <laughs> <laughs> 
I can't remember if it was Just Dance or Dance Dance Revolution. There's a dance movie based off of those one of those two games. No, there's not. Yes, I'm being serious. This is this is legit. It's one of those two games that no, that Hollywood is making not. a movie of. As well no, as a, fucking not. As well as a Mega Man live action. Well, I know the Mega Man live action is happening. But oh the, my god, no! It's called it's called Dance Dance. This movie came out. Wait, whoa, hold on. What the fuck? This might not have. This is this is old. This is Bollywood. Hold on. <laughs> I mean, any Bollywood is essentially a dance dance revolution game. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking right. <laughs> but yeah, that, those are coming out. Um, do want to talk a little bit about My Heroes One Justice? Oh, and also Red Dead Two is coming out. But right. This Friday, do, right? Also, same day as My Hero. But um, fucking my heroes one justice is like I I really want to enjoy it. I'm, I I imagine you know I imagine I'm gonna enjoy it if I do get a chance to play it. Right. But like it's so. I took a look at all the specials on online, and a lot of them don't fit. I mean, they fit the character. It makes sense that they could do it, but a lot of them are a little too over the top <laughs> for their for their ability. Right. Or at least as far as they've developed it in the manga or the anime. Mm-hmm. So, I, we were talking about it before, but I gave the example of uh, Uraraka. Her ability, her special, super special ability is, she like, you know, she she turns off gravity for you and her. For her and the enemy. And then she fucking buzzsaw kicks the enemy into the fucking air. And then grabs him, turn up, turns off gravity, for turns on gravity for both of you and just fucking comets into the fucking ground i'm like all right sure that's that would hurt but you know it, you'd be also dead <laughs> i mean let me ask this are, are any of those specials like um accurate to what they do develop later down later on down the manga not really because I'm, I'm only thinking you know since you know they give a game if a game like this coming out, especially with the with a title like My Hero, I don't. Maybe they're trying to do something different, you know, just because they don't want to. Was it leak? Uh, they don't want potential spoilers, I guess, for example, That's for anybody. So I guess kind of they're trying to generalize the idea of each person's quirk and how a super special move would work in their circumstance without trying to like, um, like re- uh, revealing kind of like de- like specific details or something like that. That could be later, that could be a later story plot point or something. I mean, I appreciate that, but it's like, you gotta, uh, what's the word, balance it? Like, you gotta make it make sense. I mean, it makes sense, but it's gotta fit, you know, with where they are. Right, because th- their outfits are based on, like, what, season two, right? Their outfits, what do you mean? Their outfits. Like, oh, no, it's it's their... Yeah, like their their hero their hero outfits are based on their oh, season two kind yeah, of parts, yeah. right? You're right, you're right. It's before so. they get the major upgrades. I think. Yeah. Hmm. That's a good point. I mean, I don't know how I don't know how a fine detail that would be in terms of, uh, you know, what level of of how their quirk development is, mm-hmm. especially since it's like you know this is pre season three. Right. I don't think. Uh. Yeah. You're right. It is it is season two because Deku doesn't have his shoot style yet. Mm-hmm. It's mostly just his um, um, was it breaking his fucking arms? <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's fucking breaking his fingers every every other every other time. Though I didn't notice if whether or not that like makes him lose health because that would be you know true to the whole thing and just make him do a shit ton of damage. But yeah, then why exactly. would you play him when you can just play All Might? I don't. I don't write. <laughs> Oh, I was gonna say he could do more damage than All Might. No. Which I'd be fine with, and the caveat should say he loses health. Yeah, exactly. There's like that that balancing we were just talking about a while ago. Yeah. But I mean that's it. I'm I'm kinda looking forward to that. Yeah, same. I'm I mean I haven't been following it heavily, but I have been like just been aware of of it in this space. I just didn't know when it was coming out. I thought it was gonna be like December or something. Because I knew it was coming out this year. Real fucking soon. Nice. And then early November, just to take a quick peek, uh, uh, not a terrible amount of interesting stuff, 
I just lost the page that had all the things that I didn't put in. Um, but the next, the second week of uh, November. Um, what the fuck's coming out? Um, uh, fuck, it's Fallout seventy six. Oh yeah, seventy six. Shit, I completely forgot about that. It is coming out in November, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, its beta's been out for a while now. That was a close. Uh, oh, I thought the beta ended already. It might have ended. I, I haven't kept up with it because I wasn't terribly interested in it. Mm-hmm. Because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm fucking Fallout for the mods. I'm going to be honest. I'm one of those people. <laughs> well, that does make the game a little bit more interesting. It does. As far as experience goes. But, uh, so what's coming out early November, maybe? And, oh, and the re- for the rest of October. So today's the 22nd. Um, Just Dance, My Heroes One Justice, and Call of Cthulhu is coming out on the 30th. Oh, I'm really? I'm getting that. I'm <laughs> getting that. That game looks sick as shit. Wait, is it that same Call of the, is that that same Call of Cthulhu game that's been like, like sort of like um down like down low hyped up for a while? Yeah. It's oh, wow. it's, it's 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 from what I understand the way they're 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 structuring it outside of just being you know you're a detective go figure out cult shit right. and then learn about the you know the the what the futility of uh futility of living or whatever because cosmic tininess whatever you know all that Cthulhu bullshit um but other than that the mechanic of the whole mystery idea is that you get a few ideas of what you're supposed to do but it's never going to ex- exactly tell you where to go you mm-hmm. just kind of you have to figure it out okay and i love that so as long like- as it's you know within reason so it's almost it's almost um free roam but with a like like it was a like a detective kind of sense. Yeah. Well, I, don't, um, I doubt I don't think it's open world, but it's like you get your set piece and then you move around and figure shit out. Okay. I don't know. I haven't looked that much into it, but I'm excited. I'm definitely gonna play that shit. We all, um, we all know how much of a Cthulhu fan you are. Uh yeah. I fucking love it. I still need to buy some of the Lovecraft books, just to solidify myself as a pretentious fan. <laughs> Because right now, I just like it because the tentacles and the fact that in the whole general idea, but I got to read a book, you know? I got to get I mean, in there. Isn't that enough, Jaron? Isn't isn't loving tentacles and more than enough devotion to the uh, the cause? You're right. It is it it is enough, but I want to I wanna go I wanna go deeper. I want to go mm-hmm. as deep as the tentacles can. I want to go in the butt and out the mouth. I can see why you're, you want your mother to listen to these podcasts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, early November, we got The Quiet Man, don't know what that is, Diablo 3, Eternal Collection, coming out for the Switch, so, uh, co- something called Deracine, D-E-R-C-I-N-E, Overkills the Walking Dead, oh yeah, I forgot they were making, they were making a game, or uh, a Walking Dead game, I don't know what it's gonna be about though, um, Right, three, like I said, Hitman 2 is coming out the 13th. Spyro's coming out the 13th. SNK 40th Anniversary is also coming out on the 13th. 76 is coming out on the 14th. Underworld's coming out on the 15th. Civilization 5 is coming out for the Switch on the 16th. Pokemon Let's Go, Pikachu and Eevee come out on the 16th as well. God damn. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I know I'm definitely getting one of those. Uh, Battlefield 5 comes out on the 20th. Warframe on the 20th. For the Switch, um, Wreckfest is also coming out on the 20th. Darksiders 3 is coming out on the 27th. Artifacts coming out for the, on the 28th. And Katamari Damacy Reroll is coming out on the 30th. And this is all for the month of November, right? Yep. All and right. And we'll do December next month. All right, that's good. You get bust all your wallets, guys, because holiday season's coming up and there's a bunch of games to buy. <laughs> yeah... Unfortunately, I just had to fucking pay three hundred dollars for class, and I won't be able to buy anything. <laughs> Maybe I can squeeze by for the Switch and and um and Smash and Smash, but that'll be about it. I mean, that's the that's the most important thing right now, isn't it? That is the most important thing. <laughs> so I know I'll definitely be on that. I'll be on top of that once once December rolls around. All right. But uh, yeah, let's uh let's let's jump into the anime since we 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 got through most of the gamus. 
Yeah. So as as Jerome just said, ev- this as of as of this recording, everything is pretty much on its uh, episode three and or episode four of uh, this current fall season. Yeah. And I I am proud to say that this this time around, I I, ha- I have been a good little boy and watched the uh, the proper amount of anime that I should be watching every season as a notable veteran. So, well, granted, it's only like five. Yeah. I mean, pretty, let's well, be honest. <laughs> I, I I respect your passion to watch every fucking thing that comes out every season, <laughs> but chill. Not everyone has that time. This is true. I mean, back in back in my school days, I used to be like what thirteen different series a season. That was like my standard. God, I remember those days. Oh, that was rough. I mean, it wasn't rough. I, I, I don't know how I don't know how you balance your your all your stuff. It I just, was not easy. <laughs> Cause I, I I would spend. If I if it, if everything came out on the Friday, I just spend that entire Friday just been like uh, going back to back to back to back, and if everything was spread out, I just do the you know the the one two episodes that they came out during that week, just because you know that was my priority back as a young lad, because I didn't care much about school, but you guys should be you should you guys should study up though just just yeah. saying, <laughs> yeah don't become a schlep like I am, yeah, exactly then you end up running a podcast with another schlep that yeah. did go to college and is not using his degree for anything. Yeah. But beside the point, um, <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to? Uh, uh, so the series that I've been keeping up with up in, up until this point has been SEO, Analyzation, Goblin Slayer, um, Session Bunny Girl. It'd be easy Bunny to Girl. talk about what we haven't been watching. Actually, no, it wouldn't. No, You're it right. wouldn't. Never mind. Because I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't have a giant list of what I am watching. So yeah, so SEO, Goblin Slayer, uh, Bunny Girl, Senpai, uh, Life Slime. Zombie Land Saga, Index Three, and let's see, and Gridman, Gridman, and Vampire Chan. Vampire Chan. Uh, remember that's the, that oh one? yeah, I forgot yeah. about that. <laughs> the little, the little cutesy Yuri one. Yeah. And I think that's about it so far that I've been mostly just keeping up up to date with this because, it's like you said, there's been so much and I've I've been trying to keep up with the ones I do do want to watch. And then I've been like, I've got like a secondary list of what I want to watch, whenever I have the time. I haven't mm-hmm. gotten to those yet, but those are the those are the ones I've been primarily following for the past three episodes, three weeks. Mm-hmm. What were you drawing? What have you been following up on? Oh, uh, sorry. and Gridman, as far as well as Gridman. I can, I don't know if I mentioned it, but Gridman was one of the things I'm also following. Pretty much the same as you. Did you mention uh, Zombieland Saga and Juliet? Uh, Zombieland Saga, yes. Uh, I haven't been keeping on Juliet just because I already know most of it in the manga, but. Julia, yes. I also haven't been keeping <clears throat> up with it. Oh, and the maid one. Uh oh, the the maid useless maid one. Yeah. All right. So I mean, let's 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 just start off with like uh, what what do you want to start off with, John? So uh, far, as far as this the past couple, the three the the this three three episode year slay. <laughs> um, well, that's what we're calling it now. Well, for right now, I don't it know. It is hashtag year slay episode three, by episode three. Exactly. Granted, this was a uh, established by uh, another YouTuber named Gigguk, or maybe not established, but he. Um, well, I think it's been a general rule for everybody in this community. Like it's the three episode rule. Right? Yeah, but you know, the one wanna, wanna be a booze don't know about it until someone else says it. <laughs> this is true. We're always late <laughs> to the party. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, go ahead and start with uh, Sword Art Online because it's currently a slay for me because I haven't watched Gun Gale or the movie. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, okay. So I'll just tell you right off the bat. I'm in, I am loving it so far, just because it's giving me it's it's giving me the same kind of sense of of how SEO started back in the first season, where Kirito is essentially in an environment that he has to learn how to how to survive in. In this case, oh, so he's not super OP. I know every ins and out of the game anymore. He's just exactly yeah exactly regular he's, Kirito. Okay. He's a regular Kirito in the world of Underworld, which is a new. Um, government f- government run game, which we still have no details of at this moment. All we know that he's in this game now, and he's just trying to figure out how. Well, he first tried to figure out how to get out, but then he started. He he's also learning about how the world works because apparently underworld, like you. So you know how the all the SEO games are pretty pretty advanced with all their like AI and and NPC. Yeah. In underworld, this takes us to a whole different level where each NPC has like its own personalized AI which gives them a sense of character and they're essentially a, a, like they're essentially a valid person but they're not real I got you 
So it's like a it's like a fleshed out NPC, like a really fleshed out NPC. Each character there is an NPC, but they're not NPCs if that makes any sense. Mm-hmm. So I I've, I've been enjoying it so far cuz it's it's been it's been a nice learning uh learning stroll with Kyoto and just trying to I'm I'm even me as a viewer I'm trying to figure out like how how anything is going to go down in this case. So I'm He's excited to see how enough. that's how it's going to happen. <laughs> I guess but I I am excited to see how the story progresses since I'm I don't read books and I probably should but I am, I have I've been excited for this for this arc for a while now. So Come I'm on. definitely I'm definitely yay yay for this one. The pride of the one of wannabe abus is that we we is as pretentious as we sound. We don't read the light novel. This we don't read the light novel and we never touch it. <laughs> right. We say yeah we should, but you know never gonna. <laughs> exactly. We give them, <laughs> we give people that kind of sense of uh, openness, and then and then in reality we're just assholes about it. So. Yep. <laughs> So it's a yay for you, slave for me, because I haven't seen the other material for it yet. Yes, which I do recommend, and also for everyone else. If you guys are jumping into SEO alicization, I do recommend watching uh, uh second season, which is G- the GGO arc, as well as the as the uh, Ordinal Scale movie, because that does directly this series does directly sequel from the ending of that movie. And if depending on where you can get it, you can get a nice little. Half second of Austin is left titty. Yes. Yes, because in the Blu-ray version of the fucking movie, there is a like literally two seconds of Austin's left nipple. If any of you want, if any of you are curious about the information, you, there you go, have it. <laughs> and if you that. degenerates, <laughs> jerk off to that, and uh, we bid you adieu. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Is it really? I don't. No one likes okay. Asuna. I like Asuna. She's fucking bland as all dicks. Let's you know be what? honest. I think maybe because I like bland girls. Is that is that a problem? Yes. You know what? Next, um, <laughs> what do we have next? Oh yes. Next up is Goblin no Slayer. Or how or how he says it, Goblin Slayer. Goblin Just Slayer. His monotone, cool voice. More like uh, more like Normie Slayer. Am I right? I don't. I feel like I should get that joke, but I don't. Normie Slayer, because everyone got up in arms about the second episode, first episode. Oh right, right. Oh yeah, yeah. I feel like. Oops. <laughs> Every fucking time. <laughs> I swear, <laughs> drunk. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't think it does affect normies, but yeah, definitely. I mean, it it, it affected more people, but you know, that's the that's sake true. of the fucking joke, Jomel. Damn. <laughs> Well, I'll start it off with I'm gonna go for EA on this one. Just EA, EA for I'm... me as well, because Goblin Slayer is the tits on the stick. Exactly. Oh, uh, so, <laughs> John, I just, I just want to, I just want to say first, who's your, uh, who's your, who's your best girl in this one? I can only Don't think of two question. people. I can <laughs> Don't only ask think me of that question. I can only think of three different people so far. In the first, has she appeared in the first three episodes so far? Your no. best girl? No? no. Oh, okay. Cause I swear What'd you I say? What'd you say? <laughs> what? Uh, what'd you say? Did your you best girl? Say, you didn't say best. Yeah, said, I said best you girl. Said, you said breast girl. No, I said. <laughs> I said best girl, but no. is there breast girl also? <laughs> breast is there... girl would us us is also the correct term when it comes to me anyway. Oh, exactly. But did your best girl did appear in any of these three episodes? No, she no? shows up later on. Okay, because I swear I thought it's either between the childhood friend and or the the witch lady. I thought that was gonna be one of those two. Witch lady is too weird. She's a little. She's just oh, off. I don't. She she's unsettling <laughs> to me. <laughs> That's true. I don't like the way she speaks. Like it's just. It's like I said, it's very unsettling. I feel like she's she already knows what's gonna happen. Like I mean, you you get a you get a few scenes with her more in the manga, obviously, mm. and I don't know. It's just. Nothing has happened yet with her, and I'm like, is something gonna happen? Why does she talk like that? Why does she hang around this dude? <laughs> like, what's Talking going like, on here? The the spear dude. The spear dude. Like, what is going on? <laughs> True. But yeah, she she just bothers me. <laughs> um. Now, now, granted, I haven't seen the third episode yet, but oh, okay. So I don't know what it sounds like, but I can imagine. Okay. But yeah, go on. Um, I mean, as someone who is just coming into the series fresh, fresh and 
you know, butt clenched into the series. I I I am ge- I am liking it so far. I didn't think I'd get we'd get like a little bit of a backstory uh in a second episode to be honest for Goblin Slayer. Yeah, that they push that in real quick. Is it in compare in compared to the the manga? Yeah, I feel like it happened that definitely happened a little later, but as as you know, they have to condense a lot of fucking story down. Right. Especially since only 12 episodes. Actually, speaking of, now, this is a spoiler for the light novel. Because neither this detail was not put in the manga or the anime. Oh, really? So this is just a light novel exclusive detail? Yes. All right. Uh, let's hear it. The girl, the the young uh, uh, co- uh, hand-to-hand combat girl that unfortunately got uh, bedazzled by one of the goblins. Right. Uh, she actually ends up killing herself shortly after getting taken back to town. Oh, shit. Because she found out that she was pregnant with a goblin child. So she just fucking offed herself. Man. Yeah. The more you know. On a lighter note, uh... <laughs> Tokyo Ghoul. Man, no one's watching <laughs> that sh- no, I mean, I, Tokyo I, I feel like I should be watching it, but... No, again. you don't. No. No. <laughs> I mean, the manga is actually interesting. The manga is, though. I don't know how how dedicated this... Uh, how... um, What is it called? Faithful it is to the manga. Series. From what I heard, it's not faithful at all. Really? Okay. Yeah. Um, Going back to... Going back to Goblin Slayer, because I didn't finish one thing I wanted to say. <laughs> Go for it. Um, I just... I, I mean, besides... So, uh, continue, continuing off about... Uh, seeing the uh, the was it that flashback of of him and him and his childhood friend. Mm-hmm. I mean, it kind of it gave, it did give me some more. Uh, I mean, it was pretty straightforward as it was that that's what happened to his village. And that's why he kills goblins. And I don't. know, I feel like I want to know more about that transition from when he was a boy to this current silver goblin slayer. You'll get it. It'll tell you. Okay. Well, I'll be excited to see that then, because I do want to see how he became, you know, like a silver. And I'm assuming he's not—he's pretty young, or at least roughly young. If he's if he's if he's this dedicated, I feel like he kind of re- like ran through the ranks per- like relatively quickly than most adventurers. Actually, that's a good question. How old is he? Is that, I is that a detail? Don't know. Uh. Da, 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 da. They have to have this detail somewhere. I'm gonna go look it up. Yeah, maybe in the wiki or something. Yeah, they d- well, they usually have shit like that on the wiki. This is true, but I'm enjoying it so far. This is definitely a for me. Um, as far as the public response, we said the same thing last week. Don't watch it if you don't like it. Watch it if you do, and you're not faulting for it. Right. And Giggly did make a video about Goblin Slayer, and I didn't Daddy know. Did. <laughs> I mean, if you do look at it, look into it. The title is very misleading, just because. I mean, just from first glance, it seems like he's going in one direction. No, he, he, he maintains the point that Goblin Slayer is the worst anime. However, he says it in the same way that everyone that's butthurt about it says it. <laughs> exactly. So it's stupid and it's funny. So. Uh, go watch Gigook's Goblin's uh, Goblin Slayer video. This is a a shameless plug for that video. <laughs> yeah. Um. His he, he's it, all it says for ages. He's twenty plus. Which I. For Goblin Slayer. Yeah, he's twenty eight, twenty years, something. All right. Well, that's pretty young, if I can if I can assume. So that means. Yeah. If he was like what seven maybe or six? No, he's probably like seven or ten. I mean, he During... could have been eight or not. Yes, yes, you're right. Seven, you're right. That, that, yep. Mm-hmm. So that exactly flash... as you said. So seven years old in that flashback. So twenty years. Yeah. Yeah, twenty years of just building himself up into the silent goblin slayer that he is. Yeah, that's that's pretty progressive. Especially if you tr- if especially if you try to join the you know join the guild. At like the young age of seven or eight, at most, since he's, since I'm assuming that's when he started doing his little adventuring. Well, um, like I said, there's a certain trigger, not trigger, but like a certain way he got his experience. Okay. I mean, it's from the 
way that scene played out, it seems like he was experienced beforehand. But yeah, well, I thought, he got I thought better his... because of this. Okay, because I thought his exp- I thought his like motivator was that night of when his when that village got attacked. Oh no, that was that's his mo- that's that is his sole ma- motivator. Okay, but like his skill is what I uh, what I should have clarified. He oh. had some skill in hunting them beforehand, but after this event happened, he got even better. Oh, I see. Okay, this 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 makes him even more interesting to like look into now. All right. I do have to say, once these solo episodes are done, I'm definitely going to be delving into the manga. And oh, I, yeah, you definitely should. And if you can find, like, a video saying that talks about the details left out from mm. Goblin Slayer in the light manga, I would definitely recommend it because it only makes things more dour, and I, I'm all about that. <laughs> well, that's true. Uh, well, moving on here, uh, we both, we're both both watching uh, Bunny Girl Senpai, right? Yeah. All right, John, so you want to you want to you want to start this one off because I know you're very enthusiastic uh, about this one. It's so good, like it's so it's it's so strange. Like there's no way you could predict. I mean, I guess you could have predicted, but like it's just, I didn't expect any of it to play out the way that it did. I didn't know what kind of manga or anime was going to be going into it. It's just everything was just a very pleasant surprise and how deep the story was going to be and i fucking love it yeah so i, I do agree. have one problem with it all right Which and is? this is a i guess this is a spoiler okay um so be warned of that this is a spoiler for episode three of the anime the last scene of the of that episode and that's his confession to senpai it felt abrupt other than the fact that it was going to solve everything. Like you felt like the solution was rushed at the end. Not so much like I get I I guess that that was probably going to be the solution, but right. I don't know if that's how he actually feels. I mean it de- very well could be cuz it's the only girl that's really paid attention to him in most of his high school life. So right. I could understand that. But like I'm going to need a little bit more than just them knowing each other for well, I mean, a couple days, a week. I mean, the only thing I can probably put into this conversation, maybe just because he was the only one that could see her from that short period of time. Well, yeah. So uh, he got essentially exclusive. Um, and he does, have that, he does have that history. Like, what is it? He did have the history of that one senpai that saved him from his um, adolescence. Adolescent syndrome. This is true, but it's you know doing his, not doing his. It's 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 him saving her essentially, right? And you know, I I don't know. I don't ever know what I'm really complaining about. I'm <laughs> glad I'm glad they're together now. Right. I like I like their dynamic because it reminds me of Bakemonogatari. Mm-hmm. In fact, this entire anime just reminds me of Bakemonogatari, but with <laughs> a worse explained happenings with worth explain <laughs> happenings yeah exactly see at least there i can ex- you know it's you know yokai and shit and all this all that weird all the weird shit Jap- japan just has cooked up in their bo- in books that they can just pull out at any time I'm like all right that's fine <laughs> but this is like yeah they're you know puberty is a bitch and now she's invisible to anybody i'm like okay <laughs> yes <laughs> it's a more toned down version of that yokai <laughs> I guess you but, could say. But there's no explanation. It just happens. I mean, maybe th- again, I don't know. I don't know how the writer what how, what the writer's thinking at this point. I feel like it's just like it's happening. It's part of reality. But the thing is, what is it? It's not necessarily known just because it's only like a it's a it's they treat puberty syndrome there as like a as a as a what urban legend, right? I mean, so, it's not a, not so much an urban legend. It's it's the phenomenon when you pretend that all this shit's going on like oh my you know i've I've given an example of what you know the kind of type of edgy shit i like to see in anime right or at least i want to see because it's so over the top you know the whole my Mm -hmm. arm holds the power of ukla the 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 cadence machina and if i unleash it all the world's gonna be destroyed oh i see the last few years of your life floating above your head you know shit like that but in this case, That's, it actually happens to them. Well, in I, this case, yes. In this case, oh, I get bullied online, and that translates to me getting actual scars and shit. 
or, you know, not, no one really knows the real me or and pretends to ignore me because I'm popular. And thus, they start to ignore my actual existence. So the mm-hmm. world stops recognizing my existence. So I start turning invisible to people. Yeah, the only thing was, they just, we never got an explanation about, you know, main dude's scar. We'll get like, it at It some just point. happened. Yeah, We'll that's definitely true. get it at some point. Maybe Unless might... it's just a, what, go on? I don't know, maybe we might meet that mystery senpai that doesn't exist, apparently. Yeah. So... So is that a yay or stay for you, Drone? Oh no, it's definitely <laughs> oh, yay. Yeah. I'm 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 fucking enjoying it okay. a hell of a lot. <laughs> definitely for me too. Um, I mean, I'll 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 be honest. In the beginning, I am a bit biased. I was a bit biased just because the writer of the series is the same writer of my favorite anime as well as my waifu's anime, which is Sakura So No mm. Pet No Kind of Joe. Um, so I had some expectations of like, I don't know, like um, very uh, either very emotional or like pretty heavy when it comes to like storytelling which i was actually quite pleased about mm-hmm. uh the story i mean the story did catch me in from episode one just because you get like a pretty mundane surreal you know, environment of like student life and then weird shit just starts happening and then yeah we got main character kun just doing his thing trying to like solve this so sol- solve this uh this this puzzle and just being him which is it's it's great like I I just like you said I do love their 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 dynamic as a couple. Mm-hmm. So um as far as how the series is going I'm going to assume it's going to be like um it's it's not it's not, it's not going to be centered around Bunny Girl Senpai. So right now next... the, her story's done. Yeah, we're, so we're moving on to the next girl. Like it's not arc based but it's like um it's character shifting. So we're shifting yeah. over to a new character to this next couple of episodes. So one thing that I heard people, some people were worried about is that it's going to become this whole harem kind of thing where, you know, he helped this girl, now she likes him. He's going to help this girl, now she likes him or something like that. Or, mm-hmm. And it's just going to keep happening. Maybe. Because I'm actually, I'm actually more looking at it as, low, as a uh, Hyoka situation, you know? Remember how Hyoka had that kind of... Okay, I got you. Yeah, like Hyoka's little, like, uh, detective, or what is it? Yeah, detective. Yeah, detective. Mystery work, so... solving and shit. Yeah, there you go, mystery solving. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it kind of goes that route. Uh, to be honest, like we have Bunny Girl Senpai and main character Kun helping out others because that's what they both. Well, that's what both of these people do because they know all about puberty syndrome. Right. So they just kill cut their way through the school. I mean, I don't. Uh, to compare it again, it's the if they do do the quote unquote harm thing, then mm. it's gonna be effectively uh following the bakuman guitar which i'd be fine with because i again love that anime so second to Gurren lagan for me just the whole series second to Gurren lagan mm-hmm. and that's i'm gonna say this it's a close second <laughs> so like it's really touching on that star for you? oh yeah it's fucking <laughs> up there um but i if it does go the bakuman guitar route where it does kind of become this whole thing where as these characters get more introduced in their problems, they stay as a part of a story. Sure, yes, in relation to the main character, whether they like them or they just have some sort of dynamic. But I'm 100% for it. And they just kind of stick around because of maybe the the residue of whatever is going on with them doesn't fully go away. It sounds really dirty, Jaron. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Just, just I, say, I, don't, I, don't know. I didn't have another like, word for it. Shut up. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you. The, the first thing that came in my head when you said the residue, it yeah. was not. It was not child friendly. So yeah, um, I know. I, Remnants <laughs> of whatever happened to them. That's that. That still doesn't register pretty well. Uh, maybe maybe just me. Maybe my head's in the gutter for some reason. Yeah, I'm horny, you're a I guess. piece of shit. Uh, <laughs> that's why you're staring at a bunny girl. Fuck you. Uh, but this is definitely a yay for me. So I'm definitely be sticking around for whatever comes up next. Honestly. Uh, next um, one is another fun one. So we okay. went from we went from fuck goblins to fucking goblins. That's maybe <laughs> we sure fucking did. <laughs> with with the uh, the slime anime, Jesus Christ! I want to get mean with some green. <laughs> oh man. Okay, I, okay. I just have to say, I so that third episode, um, when the goblins became hobgoblins and all that, I was like, holy shit! I didn't think. <laughs> I didn't think giving giving monsters names had a you know actual difference in terms of 
their abilities and well, it does physique. So if a normal human did it to one goblin, they probably wouldn't evolve that much, if it, if at all. Right. Normal human. But because Mr. Slime, full of fucking magic, did it, <laughs> true. They I mean, got a huge boost. That's true, especially since he also ate um, Dragon Kun. Right. Though that hasn't had any like outward effects. Out, maybe outside of the whole magic uh, thing. Like maybe the aura. Like, is it that menacing aura that he was like spruiking out? That's a good point. That's probably what it is. But I think that's the only thing, though, in terms of Dragon Kun's uh, like existence, just his right. energy, because he essentially ate Dragon Kun. Yeah. So he's technically there because he's protected by the barrier. It's just, you know. But anyway. That anime will con- I. It's just so. It's just so fun. Yeah, it really is. Maybe it's not even good. Maybe the writing <laughs> shit. But my fucking my. I'm blinded <laughs> by the fact that it's just he's a slime. I can't get over it. It's it's hilarious. <laughs> no, for real. Like I'm so like I. I want him to get his like transformation or his mimic ability of becoming like a fucking human already. Just because I want to see him do better shit, transforming back into a slime and a human, in a, in in middle of combat. Now I'm assuming, I'm assuming he might get it with the whole with. Well, I mean, okay, it's 24 episodes, so it could fucking happen in episode 12. Who fucking knows? Right. But I mean, it's um, already in the opening. I feel like it's gonna be in this first half. Yeah, that's so. true. But I'm. I had a theory that it's gonna happen in this next arc. With the dwarves. With the dwarves. Okay. So, I guess spoiler. I'm not gonna tell. I guess not enough happened in the second or third third episode. Yeah, they were just uh, they were like spoiling, spoiling it. Yeah, just standard like everyone evolved. Well, everyone slime gave one lames, and then they rebuilt the town. Yeah, I guess that was a spoiler. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> and the goblins are hot now. All we of them are. Now except we... oh, except sorry. one. Yeah, well, he's <laughs> he's him. <laughs> So now we slay goblins and we slay goblins. Exactly. But um But yeah, so tomorrow's episode is going to be them interacting I mean, with the dwarves. Episode. You're right. Today's episode <laughs> Fuck, I forgot. <sighs> Today, Monday, is gonna yes. be about the goblins or the uh, Rimaru meeting with the dwarves, and I'm pretty sure that they're going to be a bunch of Shodas and uh, Lollies. I'm pr- because... I, I have a feeling. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's true. Because he he did he already has a pre, pre-existing um, image of what dwarves he believes look like. But he doesn't actually know what they look like in this world. Exactly. So I'm assuming they're going to betray his expectations. Just be just fucking look <laughs> like kids. And something's going to happen where he gets he eats one of them. And that's why he looks like that. Oh, man. Well... If anything, it'd be like it'll be like a whole ton of platelets, right? You think? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it'll be cute, but be odd because since they're all dwarf. Oh, well, yeah, because they're all dwarf, so they they're depicted as children, I guess, which is because they're short. Yeah, I mean, it's not the first medium that's done something like that. I know a lot of MMOs. Anytime they have quote unquote dwarf like characters, they're childlike. Are they? I always seen like the big burly, like barrel chested, bearded dudes. Well, you're thinking of like shit like like deep, not not deep fantasy. Oh, I'm thinking more like so, World of Warcraft at this point. You got not 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 Western fantasy, Asian fantasy. Oh, there's a difference. Yes. Oh, okay. There's a big difference. I did not know that. <laughs> so, for example, uh, in a game uh, MMO called Terra, mm-hmm. all the you know you got your elves, right? Got your humans, got your Earth people. And whatnot, mm-hmm. then their shorter races are look like little girls, and then panda people, and then what? other games, okay, they're just just short, child looking. Either they're furry or something, you know. It's just a whole range of shit. Huh. All right. But that's uh, what I think. I think that all they're all gonna be shodas and lollies. Okay. Well, I'll be watching that when that comes out on uh, today, yeah. or yeah, Monday. <laughs> I wonder if it's out right now. Yeah, it is about midnight when we're recording this right now, so I'm not completely sure. But um, 
Well, yeah. Uh, this one's a huge yay because this was really fucking good. Same thing. Giant yay. I'm all for it. I'm all for the slime. All for the slime down my wine. <laughs> and another fun one that another fun the one that I have thoroughly been enjoying is Sami Land Saga and Jesus Christ. Oh God, it's so funny. I mean, Jaron, is this your first idol anime? <laughs> yeah. No, it's not my first. Really? Anime to watch, but this is gonna be the first idol anime that I finish. Oh, okay. <laughs> Unless you count uh, 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 Sympho Gear, which oh, is kind wow. of idolish, it has idol idols in it, but it's not about the idols. This yeah. one I'm finishing. No, I think this is like this is definitely I don't like a unorthodox idol anime, which is brilliant just because it's an original series, and I don't know how the hell they're coming up or all this shit in the in other asses. I mean, episode three was pretty light. I'll have it to admit, was pretty light because it was more traditional uh, idol anime uh, idolish anime with that i was expecting right that was a nice but i'm feeling it's like that calm before the storm kind of deal so oh, it's yeah. like you had we had a we had like a busting two episodes and then the third episode was like all right let's slow down just a little bit we'll give we'll give everyone what they want you know you first had rock or yeah you first had rock you right, first right, right, then right, you had right. rap and now you have idols like pop now i don't know who fucking right <laughs> Uh, maybe, maybe dubstep. We're gonna go for dubstep now. I don't, oh, I don't fucking know. Oh, <laughs> yo. Oh, I hope so. I don't know what they're gonna do. I don't know what they're gonna do next. But this is definitely a giant yay for me. Um, mm-hmm. I'm definitely gonna see this to the end because I just wanna, I just wanna have fun with this fucking series. It's, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, like a roller coaster ride, like a fun one. It really is. But like, I didn't. Like if you even if you remove the whole zombie aspect, this anime would just be another idol anime. But literally, just because they have to play with the idea that they are zombies, it just makes it super interesting. Mm-hmm. It's like a, it's like another thing you have to keep in the back of your head, right? <laughs> On top of what they already have to do now. So and it's just weird to me. I don't know. <laughs> oh man! So we get JoJo's next. Uh, <laughs> no. No, I'm sorry. No, we have Iruzuku Sekai whatever. Granted, I haven't watched the second or the third episode yet. Uh, well, we should probably reserve <laughs> reserve judgment that since we only had the first episode. It is a yay because it's pretty. That yeah, is I've all. heard I've heard a lot of things about. It. I'll be honest, I haven't even watched the first episode yet because I've been keeping up with everything else. But I heard it's like yeah. really pretty. Like this is one of PA works like prettiest animes that they've worked on for a while. Oh yeah, it's fucking gorgeous. So I'll definitely check it out for a bit. Um, and then but, JoJo's no one watched. Uh, <laughs> Next one is Index Index Three, and I mean I don't know what else to say at this point. Like it's there's a lot going on in this, like in, the, like, in a couple in, like these last few episodes that even I'm having a hard time trying to like, grasp the entire situation of how this giant war between the Orthodox Church and the fucking Science Academy City and who who, who else. I don't know. This no. Then the Pope is involved. I think. Yeah. Okay. The Vatican. The Vatican's involved somehow. And there's all. Oh no. And then right now they have. They they have like this underground. This this underground like uh like de like these these mages that have some weird abilities that are also known as the right hand of God. So. Okay. <laughs> it's a lot to grasp, but I mean, if you guys if you guys have been following Index since the beginning. You you definitely know what's going on more than I do, but I'm also thoroughly enjoying. This is definitely a yay for me, just because, you know, years in the making, twenty six episodes. That's true. There's way too much shit's going on, <laughs> but we're gonna have a lot of shit going on because this is gonna be twenty six episodes, and I am, I'm down. Like, I, asked uh, for it. I just want to see. I just want to see everyone do their thing. So, oh, but so, qu- so quick little announcement a yay though. For you. That's definitely yeah. But quick little announcement: after the release of this series, they also they also confirmed season th- another uh, season three of Railgun of a Railgun anime and what? a spinoff. They confirmed the spinoff series of Accelerator and um what was it Mini Railgun? Oh yeah, the uh the mini version of Railgun Chan, Mis- Mikasa Misaka. There's a small one. Yeah. The one that the one that follows around the one that follows um accelerator around. Or is that a railgun? I thought that was just some other little girl. No, that's a, that was a clone that didn't develop fast enough, so she stayed as a child. Okay. And then she follows around accelerator, um, 
and then there's a whole side story. I haven't even read it, but there's a whole side story between these two adventure, these two adventuring out into Academy City. So they confirmed that to be a series coming next year. All so right, I'm excited for all these developments. <laughs> Let's humanize Accelerator. I mean, he's pretty humanized now, to be honest. Is he though? Uh, yeah. yeah, now he's crippled. Oh, I mean, he, that's that's the reason he he became crippled because he chose to say he chose to save somebody else rather than his own brain. So, I guess. Uh, a lot, that's a lot to it's a lot to uh, to go about. I'm I'm not, I, I I shouldn't have even asked the details. <laughs> there's a, I know there's a lot to unpack. Yeah, definitely, but definitely a game for me. So, what about you, Jeron? Uh, that'll time. be a sleigh because I haven't <laughs> watched any of it. <laughs> I started. Index a while ago, so okay. a very long time ago, but oh, I got no. lost. No, I I feel you. <laughs> I I I'll, I'll, it did, it did take me a couple of rewatches to understand the entire first season. So, so yeah, I dropped it because I was too young to understand to understand what was going on. I mean, religion, science, the right hand of God. Yeah, I was I was, I was just in it for the titties, but they weren't there, so I was like, all right, moving on. And in that case, we have the Juliet anime. Uh, unfortunately, I also haven't watched the sec- a second or third episode of this yet. No. Oh. But it's still a yay for me because I love, I like the concept and the mm-hmm. girls are cute, and that's really all I need. Yep, especially since their relationship just developed after that first episode. Yeah. Or uh, it started after that first episode. As I said before, I'm 100% for relationships that start, and then we could get to see those develop. That is my favorite rom- uh, genre in romance. But I should I probably know. watch it, though. Because I did... Re- I mean, it's technically a yay for me just because I've read the manga yeah. up to a certain point. So I kind of I I kinda do want to see how they take how they take the anime mm-hmm. uh, about it. Um, next up, next up on that, I'm, I'm actually really... For some reason, I'm really hopped out about this. Not because of the fan art and the obvious waifu material, but... Gr- as a, uh, SSSS Gridman. Hold on, before we jump to that, I got a few quick ones. Okay. Yagate one, I watched the first episode. Didn't watch the rest of it. It's a yay. Oh, the Yuri one? The Yuri one, because it's cute. Uh huh. It's it's a pretty, Uh, like, like, uh, pure Yuri, isn't it? Yeah. It's it's a pure Yuri, yeah. So, that's why I'm, that's why I won't watch it. Radiant is essentially a. Is essentially fucking black clover without the yelling, so I appreciate that. <laughs> okay. Um, John de Arc. I haven't watched any of it. Oh, I'm on, I am on the third. I'm actually was in the middle of the third episode before I started doing whatever I was doing before we started recording. Um, and it's okay. Radiant's okay. It's a it's a gay for now. Radiant, you said, or John yeah, de Arc. Okay. Radiant. Okay. Radiant. It's a gay for now. John de Arc. I haven't watched any of it, but I. Saw a scene of him tongue like going fucking tongue down throat on this little girl, and I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna watch this. That will be Joan of Arc, Ashley. To be yeah, honest, I know. <laughs> I'm aware. So I don't know if I'm down with that. I mean, they're French. That's Whatever. that's that's how how they say hello. Right. They fuck. Bonjour. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> go tonsil, tonsil fucking boxing. No, fuck that. I mean, they how how else would they say? How else do they have to end the one uh, the hundred years war? Right. <laughs> um, and then these emo, uh, emoto one. I watched half of the first episode before I realized it was censored. So I said I'm gonna wait until it's not censored. But I haven't seen any uncensored stuff around. So I might have to just watch it anyway. But I heard that the animation's really bad, but the animation studio has not been is not a very big one, so it's that's to be expected. So I'm gonna have to give it another chance. I Hopefully mean, as, the uh, as far gone. I mean, as far as the censoring, the censoring wasn't as bad. Like it didn't like I I was I was expecting a lot of uh like you know bladen like censoring, but it's it's like a light like. Very well. It's they they just cover the specific areas. They don't like shut out a giant like character in front of the entire scene. So you're right. It wasn't that. But bad. I still want to see my nips, though. <laughs> okay, Duran. Uh, <laughs> free the nipple. The two of seconds of Asuna's titties <laughs> changed my life. <laughs> you know, this is going on the record, Duran. You know that, right? 
do we have to do we have to ask anybody to not take that out of context? I don't know. I feel like I should. We probably should tell them. Don't take the. Don't take anything that we say on here out of context. I mean, what context is there? Let's be honest. I'm not gonna lie. It it, it was funny to ju- to even the fact that they even put it in the movie is 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 the is the funny. I part. mean, they had the budget. There was no reason to. It was literally like fucking maybe five frames of frames of animation there was no reason i mean it was probably more than that it would like it moved a little bit but still remember remember Jomel, you told me that you still still saw the scene of her getting out of the bath but you didn't see her from the you know uh mid up well yeah it, it was, was just... you just saw mid down yeah exactly but they added five extra fucking frames to so you could see her from the um uh they didn't Shoulder add, down. Well, they didn't add it. Like, that was originally what was in it, and then they cut that part for the movie version, and that's the Blu-ray version that they released originally. There was still no reason they were making it in the first place. <laughs> there was no reason. I, You know they what? cut five frames out of an anime and put it on Blu-ray. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they fucking did. That's what every anime is about. They put, no. they put bad CGI, and then they put the real characters back in, in the Blu-ray. <laughs> That's what happens. Yeah, but, but they didn't do that with this. They just added titties. <laughs> they added nipples. Titties are always Whatever. there, but Whatever. nipples. That's a, Whatever. That's a 200 million yen addition right there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking then Gridman. I haven't watched any of the other episodes. Okay. I'll, since I actually watched, I'm, cu- I'm completely caught up on Gridman. And this again, this is probably just the, sen- the Super Sentai little boy in me, but I am loving it just because... It's like colorful. It's fun. You got Gridman doing his thing, growing like fucking Ultraman with the usual pose, and you got Sword. You got Caliber Sword Coon going up, and then we got Mister Mister Hands coming in with his boxing skill. That are, is very fun. I mean, the whole world doesn't make any sense, obviously, because for some reason everything gets reset after every battle, and I don't know why. Mm-hmm. But we'll have They'll to probably explain it. They'll probably explain it because they 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 have the fucking studio trigger as the main enemy in this case. Um, right. <laughs> you fucking right. <laughs> I mean, who 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 else is is, is the fucking star uh, star glasses angry ang- angry in the, uh, individual in there besides Trigger that that wants to play anything else but a villain in this case in this series. Yeah. But I'm I'm enjoying it. And Jerron, you said you had information about. Like the the series, uh, the fan favorite so far of Miss Thick Thighs. Yeah, so I don't remember what her name is. Uh, uh, R- Rika, Rika, <sighs> whatever. Thick yeah. Thighs Chan. <laughs> um, the reason now, I don't can't quote me on this, but the, I saw it on Facebook, so it may or may not be real. But True. the lead artist for it specifically requested people to send him pictures of her with thick thighs and a big butt. You know and what? I'm I think okay with that. <laughs> I think he was all he it was either he requested people to send him that stuff or uh people requested him to draw her like that in the anime. Right. I don't remember I don't exactly remember. I'd have to look that up again. But there you go. That's wh- that's why that's been going around. You know, I'm okay with that. I mean, okay, I'll be honest. I don't. I my my actual favorite character in here is the is 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 the main is the main was it the main antagonist in this case, which would be the 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 other girl. Mm-hmm. Just because, well, she's. I don't know. Maybe 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 it's because she's a little, like, nuts. Quirky. But. Very quirky, very quirky, but just because I kind of want to know what her relationship is to the whole kaiju thing, right? So, I have to jump back in. It's just, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I know you. I know how. I know how much of an advocate you are with bad CG, but I'll say this much: it's very. It's been very tame so far, just because of the the CG here is is done really is done really well in terms of balancing, you know, the three D and two D and all that stuff. I mean, again, it it probably do so much better, hand drawn, but for what for what's for what it's been giving me so far, I'm enjoying it just because it's been really like colorful in terms of 
the action and just in terms of what's been happening story wise. So this is definitely mm-hmm. a yay for me. I'll have to give it. I'll have to give it. Put it to those three episodes to decide whether it's yay or nay for me. But expect a nay. Probably a yay. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know. Is the trigger is the trigger gonna the trigger status gonna if, have if you the trigger a fires bit of... on me? We'll see. Okay. <laughs> um. Next up is uh the maid maid is this maid is useless anime. Um. I don't have much to say about it other than it, it's it's fun until you think about it. Yeah. It's it's still it's still a walk. It's it's essentially a show about a criminal. Almost very borderline. Yeah, not not borderline. She no. proposed to her in the. Mo- she's planning on proposing to her. I mean, I'm trying to be gentle here, John. <laughs> no, there's no. She's she's an ex Air Force military child predator. This is literally what she is. Uh, there's no way around it. <laughs> oh my god. See, the only is... her only redeeming quality is that she has good intentions. Outside of the child predator part, yeah, I don't think I don't think good intentions and whatever that is should be in the same sentence. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're like right. generally, <laughs> but I don't know. It's 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 like a kill. It's like it's like a guilty. This is sort of like a guilty pleasure in a sense because it's fun, but you know, really looking into it, it's like dangerous. Oh yeah. Essentially, this is. <laughs> I mean, if I were to give any advice, this is definitely yay for me, but. Don't think about it. Don't think yeah. about it when watching the series. Just just watch it. Actually, no. It makes it impossible not to think about it because they throw it in your face. Well, that's just, true. Just, just <laughs> ima- think of it as innocent adoration for your children. It, also, it's not real. That, too. It's not real. So, it's not real. <laughs> Hopefully, that's a, that's a, a good mix into the, in, while watching the show. Yeah. Because it's fun. It's a very fun show. Don't get me wrong. This is definitely a for me. Just don't think too hard about what's actually happening and the characters that are being portrayed in the series. Right. As, Every, as far as you know, everyone's above the age of 30. Exactly. As far as you know. And we'll we'll just keep that train going until <laughs> it fucking stops at episode 12. <laughs> right. Oh, unless you want me to read the manga. You can go after that if you want to. But that's That is true. That's on you. <laughs> um. Then there's Conception. I still only watched the first episode, but that's probably going to be a nay for me once I hit episode three, because it's, it's fucking... The writing's bad. It's so fucking bad. I mean, it's based off a game. I don't know if they're really trying their best on this one. I mean, yeah, but that's not an excuse. There's plenty of anime that are based off games that are really fucking good. That's true. Fucking, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, Shingeki no Bahamut is one of my favorite fucking anime. Persona? But Persona, well, the Persona anime is all right. Oh, um, oh, Kante, Kante Collection, Kante Collection, fucking browser game. Yeah, and this one's based off a of, uh, mobile game where you know you fuck these. <laughs> girl- Actually, no, I heard, I I saw I saw a clip saying that the their little fucking ritual isn't like lo- isn't actually love making. So are they the, it's are not they, a sexual act. So are they pulling like a fate, like a fate stay night here? I don't fucking know. Where they're know. where they're bullshitting the sex at this point? I don't know. <laughs> I have to wa- I have to watch the second episode. I don't know. I you know just, just play the game. Know. Everyone just play the game. Right. Maybe maybe that's a better option. <laughs> um. <laughs> and we have the Vampire Chan anime. The Vampire no Chan. Which I, I haven't watched. I haven't watched the rest of it yet. I am having so much fun with this. It's because it's it's a great it's a great relaxing anime. I don't I I, I, don't, I forget what days it comes on, but whenever it is on, it's a nice. I mean, it again, it's not as it's. I didn't never I never thought it'd be this heavily yuri, but I'm not complaining. It's a very relaxing series. I'm definitely a yay for this one. Uh I mean, what else do I have to say about it? It's cute. It's cute girls doing cute things. It's your usual four coma blobby moe moe blob. In a good way. Maybe. Yeah. Depending on how you I'm, take Moe Blob. I'm definitely going to give this one a yay once I get back into it. And, uh, I mean, that's about all I've watched. Have you watched anything else past this list? I've watched a few. Well, I heard about a few. Um, Reride, I refuse to touch because time travel. 
All right. Um, the sumo wrestling one, I need to jump also jump back into, but this one's definitely going to be definitely yay because I do enjoy the concept. Um, first episode was great, by the way. If I didn't talk about that before. And then this this one called a uh, Beezlebub, uh, no, o- o- Okinimetsu Mama. I heard this is essentially what hell would be like if it was just filled with sugary diabetes. And when I say sugary diabetes, I mean the cute kind, not the actual <laughs> cut your foot off kind. Though it's so cute, you might want to cut your foot off. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> yeah, get, out, get rid of that blood sugar. But yeah. Yeah, right, that's, just, that's, that's essentially all I've all I've got to say about this season. All right. Yep. So as we said, we're not watching every se- every series here because you know, it takes up a lot of time. Yeah. And we can we can only do we can only do so much in 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 one season, but. We are definitely enjoy. I'm I'm definitely enjoying this season. How, how about how about you, John? Are you enjoying? Oh, very much so. I, I haven't been this excited for episodes to come out in a while. True. This is true. So, I mean, how about you guys? Have you get Have you guys been enjoying this season so far? Fall 2018. Are there series that you've been waiting for? Are you that that are that have been coming out now? Or you can found something new on this on this on this season that just kind of hooked you in there, and you just can't wait for next week, and you're just riding that week week by week train. Because I know I am, especially for like um, Goblin Slayer and Sao. Oh yeah. As well as Slime. So I know I'm always going by that week by week grind, just just itching for that new episode. So what? I mean, if you guys want to you know, reach out to us, see what you guys like, see what you don't like. What do you think of the season? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think there will be more? Do you want, or do you just think the season's just dull or it's very boring? I don't know. If you think it's dull, you're a bad person. <laughs> well. But you can argue through. that point on our Facebook page or Twitter page. Hey. Facebook being the Wannabeeaboo cast. Uh, spelling is W-A-N-N-A-B-E-A-B-O-O cast on Facebook. Or at Wannabeeaboo on Twitter. And you can listen to us on YouTube, which is the main uh, spot for our uh, RSS feed. Or you can find us on Google Play, iTunes, Pickup Notes. John, thinking about that for a second. Listen Notes. <laughs> Fuck. I, uh... You had it two weeks in a row. Two weeks was... in a row. It, it just fell away. Yeah. Um, it's okay. You can start over. You can go. You're good. <laughs> listen notes. Um, fucking wait. Uh, Google Play, iTunes. Listen notes. iHeartRadio, and any other place that has an uh, RSS feed. Oh, and the Stitcher app. Can't forget about that because those they, those that was one of the first places that picked us up. Right. Yeah. This is true. And as always, guys, thank you for listening. Thank you for downloading us. We, again, like I said in the beginning, we just recently just hit 700 total downloads. We're getting close to that 1,000, but we can't have done it without you guys and your support. I don't know who the fuck any of you are, but we appreciate you want to be a booze being with us want to be a booze. Damn right. So keep up, keep up with us every week because we got that quality, mm, that quality content for you guys. And uh, just a minor announcement. With October coming coming to an end and right around the corner, Daisho Con is going to be the next con that I will be visiting. More updates will be coming up soon. I still haven't decided what I want to do yet, but November 16th to the 18th, that Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I will be there doing whatever I need to do there. Maybe doing a vlog video. Who knows? If you guys want to meet up, maybe hit me up. Don't kidnap me. Don't kill me. But, you know, just say hi and maybe we'll share a ramen cup or something. I don't know. Some weeb shit. You but fuck. I will... <laughs> I will be there uh, that weekend. More updates to come soon. And as always, guys, my name is Jamal Socorro. My name is Jerron Gaddis. And we are the One Abibu Podcast, bringing the latest and greatest game anime news, reviews, and waifus for life. Thanks for listening, guys, and we'll talk to you next time. 